All right, yo, what's good, everyone? Nick Smith is back. Welcome to a new episode of the Indiana Pacers My GM series. We're up against the Boston Celtics in this episode, and these guys, they got a nice squad, especially with the addition of Dwight Howard, who's actually, in real life, he's been rumored to uh, to have you know talks with the Boston Celtics because they're, they're looking to get somebody like Dwight Howard and someone like a Hassan Whiteside or a DeMarcus Cousins, a big piece and a big man down low. Because at the moment, in real life, get that out of here, little man, I say it, Thomas. But in real life, you know, the Indi- not the Indiana Pacers, the Boston Celtics, they are they they're missing that one big uh, man down low. Like they got Kelly Olynyk, who's not really a big presence. He he's decent from the outside. Um, you know he can hit the mid range and three shot. Unlike most centers in the NBA, well now a lot of them can um, nowadays. But it's not it's not you know common for a center to you know stretch the floor and hit threes. Um, but more and more are doing it now. Um, but you know they don't really have. The big man, like they got Tyler Zeller, who I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Tyler Zeller, and they also got, like I said, Kelly Olynyk. So they don't really have a big man down low. They got Jared Salinger, but he plays power forward. Um, and so I was thinking to myself, it's definitely, it's you can definitely understand why they're going after the smiling man right there, Dwight Howard. They need somebody like Dwight Howard down low. And I was, I, I read some articles, and he's been rumored to. Uh, to be going for, like, he wants, I, I think the Celtics don't want to give up as much as the Rockets want um, in order to get Dwight Howard, but Dwight's, that, Dwight's going into free agency, and the Celtics have a nice squad. If they can keep the squad that they have, I'm sure that they can attract a free agent like, you know, Dwight Howard or Hassan Whiteside for the future in uh, 2016 free agency. So, to be honest, if you're a Celtics fan... I think you're in a really good position right now. You beat the Cleveland Cavaliers the other day at the buzzer. Avery Bradley got a pretty nice three at the buzzer. I, I think it was Avery Bradley. And so, you know, Isaiah, he's been killing it throughout this year as well. He's an all-star. It's pretty amazing to see a guy like Isaiah be an all-star. Like, he's 5'8", five, 5'9", five, I think. And he's he, he's competitive in this league. And he, he Isaiah has heart, all right? It's all heart that he has. And in 2K, he likes to cross me up and get an there one right there over the big man, Boban Monjanovic, whatever his goddamn last name is. Look at Isaiah getting hurt right there. The little baby. Look at the little baby getting hurt right there. <laughs> and then we... I don't know how George Hill got a slam dunk. He never dunks in this, but he got a quick dunk. And look at this right here. Oh, my goodness. The rookie... Well, not, not really a rookie anymore. The sophomore, I mean, he's a rookie in real life, but Stanley Johnson in this uh, in this March GM series, he's a sophomore now because we already did the draft uh, for 2016. But he's been, you know, pretty good. Um, this is a weird game because, you know, I'm, I'm getting used to uh, Stanley Johnson. It's the first game I play with him. But look at Dwight Howard. He hasn't done anything. Like, literally, he hasn't done anything but got one turnover in this game. And look at Hassan Whiteside. They, he's going to start a fight with Dwight Howard in this but uh, yeah, Dwight Howard gets his first points right there. I was I was like trying to make Dwight Howard not score in this game. Like I was trying my hardest. Every time he got the ball, I just lock him up with uh, Hassan Whiteside. But yeah, I tried to block him. He just Hassan Whiteside just completely fouled him right there. So yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty close game. And Hassan Whiteside, after that foul that he got. He decided to play a little better defense, and he got a bit angry on the offensive end as well. You're going to see Hassan Lightside was a mean man in this game. But I hope you guys do enjoy this series. And if you want to see the next episode of this series, or just other series, you know, the Mellow My Career, or just any videos in general, first of all, comment down below a new series if you'd like to see one. Come on, I want to hear some of your ideas. What, what ideas do you have? What would you like to see in terms of my GM and my league and all the good stuff in my career. What, what would you guys like to see? Would you would you like to see a rebuilding video? Because I plan to do some rebuilding videos, and I'm going to talk about that in the next My GM episode. So if you guys want to see the next My GM episode, where I talk about what I'm going to be doing with uh, with the channel and, you know, some more rebuilding videos. And I'm going to be doing some What If Scenario videos as well. Uh, but I'll, I'll talk about that in the next My Gym episode. So if you guys want to see that next My Gym episode, let's see if we can reach 700 likes for the next episode, and I'll upload immediately for you guys. Look at DeMar Rosen. Oh my goodness, look at that move. That was a nice scoop layup right there. That was beautiful. 53 to 59. 1 minute 13 seconds left in this game. Hassan Whiteside was just like, nobody's going to guard me, Kelly Olynyk. You like, I didn't even know what he was doing. 
But then they, they after that, after like DeMar kept, you know, hitting mid-range shots, they kept double teaming him. That just led to that, that led to easy dunks for me on the offensive end. So it's 65 to 57, and we're trying to play well right now. We want to get this win. You know, we've been uh, Oh my goodness, do I how to stop it? But we've been on a little bit of a losing streak. We lost to the Pelicans and to the Cavs. Stanley Johnson and one over a pretty good defensive point guard. He's a pretty, you know, stocky big player. Even at the point guard position, Marcus Smart. But he get that out of here, okay? Get that mess of trash out of my paint. It wasn't even in the paint. It was at the three-point line. Who who cares? <laughs> Paul George gets the quick steal. Takes it up, throws it down right there over... I didn't even see that was over Dwight Howard, but I'm just going to say it was over Dwight Howard. Eric Bledsoe lobs it up to Hassan White, so he gets the quick slam dunk alley-oop to go. 75-68. to We're trying to play this defense and get a win right here, so Hassan White's side playing that defense. Getting the rebound. Kicks it up to PG. Easy slam dunk. You're going to be seeing a lot of Paul George slam dunks. Hassan White side gets another block right there. And then Chick Diallo gets a little bit of Hassan White tied in him. And he, get, he gets another block. Hassan Whiteside got another one. And another one. This man, Hassan Whiteside, gets so many blocks. It's crazy. In real life, the other day, and Isaiah's not happy after that, but in real life, the other day, Hassan Whiteside got another triple double of blocks, rebounds, Denied. and points. That's his third time, I think, this year. And look at him right here. Puts it through his legs, goes all the way. Don't flop on me. I'm a score on you right there with Hassan Whiteside. He's really good. Like, I love playing with Hassan Whiteside. He just, I don't know, man. I, I, as a Heat fan, I love Hassan Whiteside. I don't want to see him go, but I have a feeling that he probably will go to the team that offers him the most money in real life. But, yeah, after that, it was pretty much it. We, we won right here. Dwight Howard, we locked him down. He only scored five points, but the main thing is he only got two rebounds as well. So, I don't know, man. Is Dwight Howard a good fit for the Boston Celtics? I hope he plays a bit better if he goes there in real life, but Paul George dropped 25, DeRozan dropped 20, Hassan dropped 14, 8 rebounds and 2, oh, 5 blocks and 2 steals. He's a beast, alright? He's a freaking beast. Miles Turner is still injured in this My GM series, so in the next episode, you'll see who uh, who we face up against. And Miles Turner is going to be back in that game, and he's facing up against one of the best power forwards. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe, leave a like. I'm out. <laughs> Peace.